It's all gone. Uh, guys and girls, Mike here from Need to Achieve and NTA Game .com. So, this video is going to be talking about smart setup for the BT Home Hub 4 and 5 and how it could possibly affect your performance from Xbox One, in my instance, um, it, Xbox 360, PlayStation, or anything that can access the internet with the BT Home Hub 4 and 5. So basically what it is is that um, my internet on my phone, the Wi-Fi, um, kept turning on and off. Um, then what I've done in the picture is reset the router by holding in the red dot um, button with the, a, a pin for um, 20 seconds. And by doing that, it sort of enabled BT's stupid system known as Smart Setup, which you have to when you go on Internet Explorer for the first time on whatever device um, you have to you know enable your parental controls and all this other lot basically nonsense um, before you're able to start browsing and if you haven't done that then the device in question won't get it, but, well basically you can see in the pictures my Xbox One um, the download speed was 10 megabytes and my phone was nearly 60 megabytes now <clears throat> I wasn't aware that you had to do that for the Xbox which is why I'm creating this video if anyone else has had the same trouble so detailed in the pictures is going to be how to turn off the smart setup what the smart setup looks like if you um, have to do it from a restored state on your router to the device in question phone or Xbox um, how to get to browse um, yeah, but mainly you want to turn it off. Um, I've also got a picture of um, from my phone, which I've put on the computer for this video specifically, for someone's basically epiphany. Um, I, I'm so glad for the Xbox forums, otherwise I wouldn't be able to create this video. So from now on, I'm just going to show you some pictures in order. So. What you're going to be seeing now is the performance between my Xbox and my phone. Yep, crazy. 10 meg from Xbox, 60 from the uh, phone. Um, now you're going to see pictures of my router, so the front and the back and the reset hole. Now, once that's done and your reset's all done and you have to start the smart setup um, the pictures are from my wife's phone because my phone and my Xbox have already done it so I can sort of show you what it will look like and what you have to do so step one is just basically just follow the blue button for the start one um, choose your parental controls for the next one and then for the last one just click start browsing and that will enable you to go on internet again now you have to do that on the Xbox One, which is what killed me. Now it took me three hours to figure that out, um, which is an absolute nightmare. I should have done it to begin with, but I wasn't aware, which is why this video has been created. Now the pictures you are going to see are how to disable it completely. Now you have to, using your router's admin login, um, you have to go into advanced settings and then log in, and then click on the, the advanced settings and then go to your home network then go to your smart setup and then enable no and then apply so that any new devices that you get don't need to be smart enabled and to end the video thank you very much for watching it by the way if you've liked it then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more um, so yeah, the last two pictures you're going to see are what happened afterwards and how I've got everything back to sort of speed. The email um, notification from the guy in question. Let me just quickly find his name because he definitely needs a, uh, a round of applause in my opinion. His name is Malakath. M-A-L-A-C-A-T-H. Don't know if he's going to watch this video. I'll send the link to him so he can watch it. So thank you very, very, there's the camera, very much. You're awesome, and um, the last picture will be my Xbox's speed. Back up to 60 megs, nice upload speed as well. So 
I hope I've explained everything. If I haven't, then please comment below. Um, if you need any more advice, then yeah, please also get in contact with me on Twitter. My hashtag is at Mike underscore Jacqueline, which will be spelt in a picture between my hands. Anyways, um, I'm hoping the other guys from NTA will do the same thing with their Twitter accounts because we need to start getting more socially interactive uh, I can't help but notice that all the videos that are going up from NTA don't really get much publicity or don't get much sort of interest from many people. So I'm hoping that from sort of this day forth that we try and push forward for social media. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in another video. I need to plug in my HD PVR and uh, go crazy again. But um, ciao for now. Thank you for watching.